Let's take a look at uh, list comprehensions and set comprehensions. First, we'll start with a list comprehension, which is a rather straightforward one. We've done this one before. x squared for x in range. I'm going to go 1 through, uh, in range 1 through 11, or 0 through 11, so I'll put 12. Whoops. And there we go. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab this and take the uh, string equivalent of it. You'll see why in just a moment. Take the string equivalent of it, and there that goes. Now, why am I doing this? Because I want to get the length of this, and I want you to see it done step by step. So now I want to get the length of the string version of x squared. And now you'll see the length of each one of these x squares. First four are ones in length. The next one, two, three, four, five, six are twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last two are threes in length. Okay, now if I convert this to a set comprehension, I'm going to get the same values uh, with one difference. It's going to shave off. It's going to shave off any duplicates. So here you see one, 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 and then two, 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 etc., and three, three. Now it's going to get rid of the dupes. So you're just going to see one, two, and three. All right. Here goes, and bingo, voila, one, two, and three. So it just shaves off the duplicates. That's amazing. And uh, that's about all I have to say for now. This is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening. And don't forget to rate the video, and uh, I wish you a lot of luck. Bye-bye now.